Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Joe Sent Me. My name is Joe and I am your host for today. Today I've got an exciting brand to show you, an exciting house, something that when I saw the ethos of the brand and when I saw all the uh, perfumes and how they were presented, it just drew me to it immediately. I am fascinated by this and I know you will be too. We are going to be talking about Spiritum Paris. I have the Discovery set here, but I also have three bottles that I'll open up with you as I do these in order. There are nine perfumes and I'm going to go through all of them. And each of them and the whole collection, this is all based on numerology. So it's called the Numerous Collection. There are nine perfumes in total and um, they... I'm I'm excited. I'm just this is just my first time experiencing it. They're based in Paris. I'll include a link to Spiritum Paris so that you guys can follow them and also purchase the discovery set and have your own experience yourself. Now these are two and a half ml, so you'll have plenty to spray on paper and on yourself so that you can try these on skin. But I will open up uh three of the nine bottles to show you so that in when I get to them, I'll, I'll do that in real time. So when you open up the, the discovery set, you do have a piece of paper in here that explains a little bit about the collection and it is written in French. So hopefully you studied up in French class in high school and in college. All nine of them are located right here. So Let's get started with number one. And, and number one is called Solar Soul. And it does go through uh, a few things here with the talking about the, the mind, the body, the spirit, uh, and cosmic, and our relationship in the cosmos as well. So uh, number one features the element of fire. The star is the sun. And also the power is ambition. So let's go through. I'm going to pull up the fragrance notes. I'm going to have this sprayed up. I have a feeling I'm going to really like this collection. I have been doing my homework and now I'm very curious as to what this is going to be all about. Well, we're off to a great start, folks. This one features amaretto, anise, clary sage, uh, we also have what they call fresher agrest. I don't know what that is. Rose, tea, fig milk, dried fig. So if you love fig, this is definitely part of it. But there's so much more happening than just fig. Oh my gosh. First of all, the anise and amaretto really give this sort of like this boozy, spicy vibe. That clary sage gives it a touch of... Uh, you know, aromatic going on in there, but it is just beautiful. And then, of course, there's Immortelle, which for some, this could be uh, on their skin, could smell like curry, does not at all smell like curry. It's beautiful. Immortelle is so beautiful. Sandalwood, tonka bean, vanilla, benzoin, oud, incense, musk, and driftwood. Oh my gosh, already this is amazing. Oh my gosh. And it's not a super, super duper heavy scent. It's not a, a very like, uh, it's not going to take over the entire room, but it is, it is very personal and also very uplifting at the same time. It's warm. It is rich. It's very, very good. This is, we're off to a really good start, folks. We are really off to a good start. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. I know this is going to be a long video. This is why I decided to film this for YouTube and not Instagram. Next one is going to be called Astral Twin number two. Number two, which is called Astral Twin. Astral Twin. So the main element of this is water. Water is the main element. And also the star of this is the moon. And the power is intuition. Oh man, that's beautiful. I am picking up on a lot of stuff here. I mean, these 
First of all, I have to say, just from the first two, nothing, nothing I've smelled so far smells like something else. Nothing I've smelled so far is like, oh yeah, I've smelled this before in Brand X. It is completely new, exciting. It's really, really nice. And wait till you see the packaging for the full-size bottles. I will show you that in just a moment, as well as we get to number three. This one has an ozonic aldehydic opening rosemary frankincense cardamom uh coriander and rose oxide just in the top literally that could be one fragrance on its own that's just the top oh my god it just gets deeper jasmine lily of the valley magnolia iris clary sage oil and lily bell in the heart so lots of floral but this isn't like a, a, a an overly botanical feminine floral this is absolutely unisex in fact all of these are beautiful 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 and then we get into musk oak moss uh, amber patchouli sandalwood uh sax moss i've never seen that before uh it's a sex moss 18 de l'air and then fucus absolute again i don't know what that is either there's some some notes i've never seen or heard before Mm, like it, it's sort of like this green aromatic but also effervescent uh spicy frankincense i mean it's it's got so much going on it, it, again I, it's hard to describe this because it's like if you've smelled these notes before and you're kind of putting this in your head as to like what to expect that is what you're gonna expect that is what you're gonna expect so now let's let's look at number three number three is gonna, I'm gonna open up number three, four, and five like this. Uh, you get this beautiful cork. It, it is definitely cork, it looks like cork. You get this beautiful cork packaging. I'm gonna peel peel off the, the special tape here. I didn't destroy the packaging, here it is. And then this one's called Wisdom Universe number three, as you can see there. The bottle is seated right in there. Nice, heavy duty bottle, really heavy, very high quality build. And then of course you have number three written right there. So you know, but also you have this side that tells you. So no matter which way you put this bottle on your shelf, you'll always know that you're looking at number three. And then you got this very heavy duty cube cap right here that's very reflective and heavy. And it is a cube. It's like a power cube. All right, let's go to number three and let's have a look at number three. Uh, this was done by uh, Philippe uh, Paparella. I should have mentioned who did the other two. In fact, let me go back up and tell you because I think Philippe did several of these. Okay, Bertrand de Schaffer did number one. Wow. Philippe did number two. And I've been in contact with Philippe, by the way. I think Philippe helped make this connection between me and me and the creative director of this brand, the owner of the brand. So thank you, Philippe, for making the connection. Wow, the atomizer is fantastic. By the way, these only sell for 180 euros. Fantastic, very affordable. And this one we're going to look at, uh, number three, the elements are air and fire. We also have the star, this is Jupiter, and the power is harmony. This is fantastic, holy cow. This is amazing. Just what I smell in the air right now is just out of this world. Man, this is deep. This is so deep. I love this, this is so deep. So first of all, here's what we got going on over here, folks. Wow. Frankincense, Davana oil, we also have black pepper, saffron, and we have uh, verdolia. Again, I've never he heard of that. And rose. Then we have jasmine, iris, clarus sage, ylang ylang, geranium, cinnamon oil, heliotrope, and orange blossom. So it's got this spicy floral going on that kind of has this ambery, resinous dry down. And you'll see why. Musk, cedarwood, sandalwood, amber, vanilla, benzoin. Vietnamese oud, oud oil, labdanum, cypriol oil, gergum oil, patchouli, vetiver, and leather. So it has this sort of like 
balsamic, resinous, leathery, spiciness. Oh, Philip did a fantastic job on this one. Philippe. Philippe. Do I say Philip or Philippe? It's Philippe. Fantastic. Wow. Number three is so good. No wonder. And I picked the three that I wanted from the brand based on what I thought was going to be the like the three that I know I'm going to jive with the most. But so far, I've liked every single one. So we're off to a really good start. This is just number three. I don't want to make this video too long, but it is such this. These are so good that I, I have to spend some time and give it the the give it the experience that it deserves. So, OK, so let's move on again. I love these cork packaging. It's so nice. It's very protective. I don't think you're going to have any spills or breakages. That's just awesome. I love that. All right, let's open up the next one here. This one is called number four, Builder of the Future. I love the names. Let me break this. Sorry about the. If you're, if you're listening on headphones, I apologize in advance. I just broke your, your, your hearing. Builder of the Future, number four. Number four was done by Bertrand de Chaffeur. Man, so this is all about earth. This is all about earth. So first of all, the element is earth. The, the star is earth. And the power, the power is abundance. The power is abundance. So let's go to, let me put my lid back on, sorry. And let's show you number four. Again, you have that gray, kind of that gray, matte finish bottle very heavy duty very well built cap is almost half the weight of the bottle alone then there's number four and you can see the artwork is different for every single number so if you have every number you're going to experience the artwork for every single one of those and let's see what bertrand did with this one again i i picked this all based on what i think is going to be amazing let's see what this is all about wow man Again, Bertrand, amazing. Such a fantastic job on this. This is unbelievable. Like I've, I've not experienced anything like this. So we have almond, coriander, citron, and davana in the opening. Oh, it's so rich. It's so rich. And then it gets into this Gaiac saffron, clove, and blonde tobacco. It has sort of a honey vibe to it. It has a honey vibe to it, and I think it's because of the, the saffron and the blonde tobacco kind of mixing. No mention of honey. No mention of honey. However, there's a ton of gourmand notes in this, like the almond in the opening, the chocolate, the caramel in the dry down. So we have a Shepra Accord that Bertrand already has, sort of, I guess, an Accord of Shepra. And then patchouli, caramel, chocolate, musk, ambergris, and labdanum in the base. Oh, this is fantastic. Wow. Like, I'm seriously, like, so impressed. This is exactly what I was hoping for when I saw this brand, when I wanted to experience this. I wanted something that's going to rock me, that's going to change the way, you know, perfumery feels for me. I just love that this isn't a cookie cutter, copy paste, one note tweaked from every other thing I've smelled in the world. And I'm so glad this is one of a kind, really special. You all need to check this out. Number five, another really cool name, the Guardian Master. This sounds like something you'd see in a movie. Who's the Guardian Master? Like, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy or something. You know, like it has very, it has very uh, cinematic feel to the names, you know? Like the names just sound good as movie names. They sound good as album album songs, like songs to a like to a CD or an album, you know. This is number five, The Guardian Master. Love that. Take a look at that. Same gray matte finish bottles with the reflective writing. Number five, you can see number five has a very different artwork for number five. Same heavy duty, beautiful cap. Now we're gonna do number five. I love how they say, you might also like this. That's like, I might like everything. All right, so number, let's go into number five. Let's see if I do, uh -uh, yep. Number five, the Guardian Master 
done by Philippe Paparella. Philippe Paparella. Felipe, Felipe. Maybe it's Felipe. Whatever. It's done by Philip, Felipe, Philippe. All right, the Guardian Master. Number five, the elements of air and fire. Again, the star is Mercury, and the pop, the potency, or the power is called protection. Oh, already we are off to a really good, spicy, spicy opening. Oh, man, spicy opening. This is really nice. Man, if you like it, so everything that I've done in the last three, definitely good fall, winter. Nothing here is like, you're gonna, nothing here is gonna be too abrasive for a, for a room. If you're gonna wear it, wear it proudly, but nothing here is gonna be like, you're gonna, you're gonna like kill somebody with it. You know, it's all good. It's really good. So cardamom, pepper, pink and black, nutmeg oil, uh, frankincense, chili leaf oil, and turmeric. So spice, 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 spice. Mm. Now we're getting into the honey. This one has honey in it. So we got jasmine, cedar, cinnamon, clary sage, bourbon tobacco, hu um, honey, iris, musk, vanilla, bourbon, vanilla, again, patchouli, vetiver oil, labdanum absolute, amber, tonkalactone. So this must be a tonka lactone, maybe a lactonic tonka. Sandalwood, oak moss, absolute, a Papanax, oil, love it, plum, tobacco, absolute, without the nicotine, and leather. Yeah, th everything that I smell, and mind you, this is just a paper test. It is just a first impression. I'm technically, I mean, if I'm liking what I'm smelling on paper, I'm pretty certain what it's going to do on skin is going to be amazing. So, yeah, so we're off to a, a fantastic start. We're almost done. We have five. We have four more left to go. Thank you for sticking with me. One, two, three, four, five. And now let's do number six, which I only have samples of the rest. So halfway through, we are. Uh, and now we're going to go to number six, which is called Carnal Spirit. Carnal Spirit. This one's also done by Philippe. Philippe. All right. He told me he worked on this, and that now that makes sense. This one, number six, the element is Earth, the star is Venus, and the power is seduction. That is already, sounds like something I'm... Mm, lovely. Again, this is lovely. Olibanum, pear, uh, ginger, black pepper, pink pepper, Sichuan pepper, so lots of spice. Uh, then we have pine needle, then jasmine, violet, cedarwood, osmantis, uh, osmantis gullen is what they call it, clary sage, cashmere, geranium, lily of the valley, nutmeg, and cinnamon. And then we have musk, creamy sandalwood, amber, vanilla, and peach. <sighs> yeah, so it's got a little, little tiny bit of fruitiness to it, but in the spices that are in here, and there's plenty of them. Don't overpower the fruits. Uh, they really play super well with each other. The floral, the fruity, it's a spicy, fruity floral, uh, you know, with an amber vanilla base. Very nice, very pleasant, very easy to wear. This is, I feel like this is leaning more towards springtime. I feel like this is, this one is leaning more towards a springtime uh, approach on this one. So that's number six, which is called Carnal Spirit. Number seven is called Spiritual Explorer. Again, I love the names. I love the names. Let's give number seven a shot. This was done by Bertrand du Chaffer. This one is, is, is marked as a bois gourmand, so a woody gourmand. Mm, you had me at that immediately. Oh man, this is so freaking good. Holy cow. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to need this one for sure. So first of all, saffron, divana, and raspberry right there in the opening. Oh, but then it goes into a coffee, a caramel coffee and rose. And then in a base, we have caramel, myrrh, 
uh, trace of patchouli, oak moss, cedar, ambergris, and musk. Oh, heck yeah. This is a rose coffee saffron perfume that is so rich, so rich, and so ah, lovely. Forgot to tell you that the element is water, the star is Neptune and Saturn, and then the power is inspiration. Inspiration. These only sell for 180 euros. That is fantastic. Dang, add that to the list. Holy cow. Add that to the list. Okay, number eight. Number eight. Just keeps getting great, doesn't it? Number eight. Love this name too. Mystic Warrior. Mystic Warrior. This was also done by Felipe or Philippe. Mystic Warrior is about Earth. The star is Pluto, Uranus, and Saturn. And the power is courage. I love that. I love that. I love the, the attributes here. Oh, my God. Why? <laughs> Why are these so good? Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, heck yeah. This is another one that features honey, but it's even better. Oh my God, it's even better than the other one that had honey in it. First of all, it's coriander, caramel, olibanum, and ambrette, which is also known as musk mallow. And then we have cedarwood, amber 84 delaire, they call it, uh, clary sage, essential honey DLR, DL. Vanilla, musk, balsam, cystus, uh, ambrostar, and sandalwood. Oh. Oh, my God. It's so good. This is so good. Oh, my God. This is so good. So good. I'm telling you, folks. I mean, seriously, like, I am not just saying this because this was sent to me. I, I've been so curious about this house. It is so good. All right. So let's do the last one, which is number nine. Let's see if number nine blew me away too. I am just blown away. Holy cow. Let's pull out number nine. I'm sorry. Struggling with number nine here. Number nine is called Final Spirit. It literally sounds like uh like the final boss in a in a in a in a video game. What is Final Spirit? Well, the element is fire. The star is Mars and Pluto, and then uh, altruism is the power. This was done by Bertrand. Let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> so good. Devana, Clary Sage, Cystus Essence, Cinnamon, Date, and Saffron. Oh, see, like all these things that I love. Musk, sandalwood, oud, incense, cypriol, myrrh, absolute, vanilla, and tobacco. So, folks, I mean, I'm telling you, like, I have a feeling, like, nine out of nine were amazing. But, I mean, nine out of nine, all of these were fantastic. But I would say I would want at least seven of these, like, right now. Like, totally want seven of these. I already have three, but, like, there's four more I want now. <laughs> and these are just so good. First of all, that date and the saffron, oh, and that cinnamon, it's it's so, so good. Like, and, and I can kind of say that this would be sort of the Middle Eastern vibe for this one, <clears throat> but the oud in this is like so like easy to wear. So like, don't be scared of the oud that's in here. It's, it's the whole combination of the myrrh, the vanilla, the tobacco, the oud, the dates. Oh, date gives it a sweetness, a saffron cinnamon like it's ugh, it is divine it is freaking divine y'all need to check out spiritum paris the two perfumers are bertrand de chauffeur and also my buddy felipe or philippe and i was blown away i don't know about you if you have tried this if you haven't go do it the discovery set is available online it's only 39 euros for this only 39 euros Go get it. I promise you, you are going to be enlightened. You're going to really enjoy this experience. And I can't wait 
to hear your thoughts down below. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.